Hello again, YouTube. Uh, so remember that uh, subwoofer uh, amp video I put together? Well, uh, we have a Bose uh, 321 system upstairs that is not working. I think the uh, transformer is dead, the AC to DC transformer in the back of the unit um, is completely dead. I wish I could show you it, but I really don't want to pull it out right now. Um, so I decided to kind of adopt the subwoofer, and uh, as you can see, I took out the amplifier sitting right there. Just got a subwoofer sitting there doing nothing. Unplugged the power LED because I don't really need that uh, when it's on that subwoofer. Um, but uh, this is actually working really well with the the I can't pronounce it Klipsch 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 amplifier. Um, this Bose subwoofer. Um, here, let me, uh, pull it out right now, actually. Um, this is going to be complicated, because I've, I've got it situated nicely. And let me turn the, probably safe to turn the amp off. Um, let me pull this sucker out. Out of the way. Alright. Probably, oh good, okay. So this is the back inside of the, uh, sorry, this headphone cable is in the way. The back inside of the Bose subwoofer. Let me turn this light on. Might help a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, this is the inside of the uh, Bose subwoofer. Um, there's the monster transformer for the amplifier, and there's the amplifier. Um, I don't know what's dead inside it. There's a giant capacitor on the bottom, and the only way to get it out is to take out the f these uh, these frames that keep the uh, back cover, which is sitting over there, on the uh, unit. Um, yeah, and that's in it's impossible to take out. Look, it's bouncing. I'm not holding it. Um, this is the AC inlet, obviously, um, and it receives the AC inlet from the board over there. It's got a connector on there. Um, one of these is input and one of these is output. Like one, one of these ports is dedicated to input from the, uh, from the Bose 321 system. And then one of these is dedicated to output. So I think this is probably input judging by the wire size, by, by the ribbon cable I mean. And then, like I said, this is probably output judging by the gauge of the wire. Which, by the way, is severely, uh, is, is very small for speakers. Yeah, so this is probably input. It takes the, f the, uh, it takes a five channel input or something. And also maybe a DC trigger, uh, for the power on and descent. For, well, bleh, bleh, bleh. Let me start over. Um, okay, so this is probably input. Um... Oh, I had it balanced and everything. Damn it. Um, this is probably input. Probably has the multiple channels in for audio. DC trigger to turn the amplifier on. Um, you know, stuff like that. I don't know what else it could have. And then that one is the output. It probably has uh, the channel, the speaker. It's the speaker outs and the DC out, I believe. And that connector right there, I took off the board, right? You see those four call pins right there? Shut up, toll free call. Um, I'm going to wait for the phone to stop ringing because that's pretty loud. Come on, phone. Okay. So these four pins are the subwoofer out pins. And uh, you just stick those pins in there. And then it secures itself in. Um, it's really nice. Um, and that's the subwoofer, and that's the subwoofer cable. Now at first I was just going to hook my wiring up to, uh, well, I was trying to, going to find out how to get around that shrink, that shrink tubing, by the way. Um, but then I just found out that I could just connect right to those pins after I realized that you could take this thing out when I tried to, you know, strip the wire in the middle, which didn't really work, by the way, because it came out. Anyway, let's, uh, I'm going to plug this back in, because it came unplugged, and, uh, 
play some tunes for you. The only disadvantage of this subwoofer is that you can't see the speaker. But I guess that's for the best because uh, of the acoustic uh, amazingness of Bose, for lack of a better term. Oh, good neither to cable. Sounds really nice, maybe even better than the Clisp. And actually, I figured out that it's underpowered by this amplifier. Which is interesting to me. I gotta admit, it sounds really nice. Maybe Dash Berlin? fire and then goes to the port. All of it goes through there. It sounds very nice. that's enough of that. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful video about my Bose uh, Klisch uh, Franken subwoofer, as I like to call it. Because it's, it's basically both subwoofers combined. <laughs> well, not really. It's, you know what I mean. 